Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 5761, where we have 20 moves. To clear out 51 jelly, collect 30 wrapped candies, and collect 78 layers of frosting. I've got wrapped candies here and wrapped candies here. I need to collect some keys, and look at that, I've got a wrapped candy here. So let's start with this and see what we can do. The nice thing is, besides the fact that I've got some blockers on the board, I don't have any things that can attack me. Nothing that can jump out and startle me like licorice twirls or ticking time bombs. I also don't have a lot of purple on the board, which is tough when I'm trying to collect this key, but I'm going to concentrate the colors down and keep removing that because I have the feeling that if I can concentrate the colors down, then I can get some good things to happen. Okay, speaking of good things, I got some good things. But this wrapped wrapped combo doesn't help down here but i'll get more right when i get more keys so i'm going to do this and try to get this to give me some keys here you know this looks like looked like a good start to the board but without being able to collect this guy it hasn't proven to be great but these wrapped candies are very helpful here let's see if we can get another key to drop down no but we've changed the landscape here. So now I've got stripes and there we go. Oh, these are offset now. That's a bit of a shame, but I'll still try with this. See if I can get the opportunity. So I got, I uh, didn't get a wrapped wrapped, but I got some progress. Let's do this because we're still going to be bringing out these wrapped candies. So uh, I'm not going to be able to get it done this time round. But every time I play win or lose, I'm experiencing what the board has to give me and I'm looking at how close I'm getting and seeing about my strategies. I really think it was just that I didn't focus on getting this taken out right away. I'm going to do that next time around. So I'll pause the recording, come back and try to put this all together. Okay, this setup looks so much nicer for me. There we go, that's collected. And uh, what? Well, maybe I could get a green through here for a color bomb. I did. And then how can I use this to the best of my ability? I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do this, which will take this key, right? No, it took that key. It left me with this. I'm going to use this while I've got this opening here. And then I'm going to use this. And it, this is just far enough away that it doesn't... It didn't get hit from the shock, but as this slid down, then of course it was there. Well, that's okay. It took out a color. I, I really think that the most important thing on this board is the wrapped, wrapped combos. And getting them down here and setting them off is going to be the most helpful. I will still have some cleanup, and I may not get this done, but I do think this is the strategy to employ. I'm certainly getting close. Now let's see if I can get some double wrapped down here. Well, it's not double wrapped. And it may be because the board gets stingy. When I do have some wrapped down here, sometimes the board says, well, you have enough wrapped on the board at the time. So this side is just about cleared out. I need something happening over here. Okay, so now I've got wrapped wrapped, but I'm not going to set it off as wrapped wrapped. I'm just going to do a series of wrapped because I messed it up, honestly. All right, let's see. I need things flowing down from here. I didn't get it. But I understand the mechanism now. So I got close. Yeah, much closer. So I do believe this is the right strategy. Just in case I get extraordinary luck next time round uh, and win based solely on luck, I'm going to go ahead and leave this as an instructive video and because I think this shows the combination of luck and skill to try to get things done. And I will come back, hopefully, with the win. Okay, best way to collect this. Should I make this move here? It would put this green into position and bring this green down, but I don't think it would bring it down enough, because then I would have the red still. No, because I would get this cleared out. I could do this, but I think this is better for getting the green together. That's what I need to do. And now if I blow this up, I should get a stripe along here. I mean, a key along here. Actually, I'm going to make this stripe first. There we go. I didn't even have to worry about that. Okay, now, unfortunately, I can do this, but it can't collect that key. 
I'm going to make more stripes. I need some help over here. Oh, I can't get these keys. There we go. Okay, and then this should work because this will come into position and help with this. And it's going to take off a lot of these guys. I think this will be good. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's looking better for me. And then I'll do this because it takes out a layer. And then I'll do this, and that's going to blow this up because it's going to slide out. But that's okay because it'll still take out the most prevalent color on the board and concentrate things down and give me a better shot at more matches and specials. I'm going to go ahead and take this stripe because I do need help over here as well. But now I'll do this wrapped, wrapped combo and just hope that it brings wrapped down here to make some dents over on this side. Looking at the center to see if it's going to offer anything up. I don't have a lot of opportunity to stick around, but if it's going to offer something to me, that's good. Okay, so wrapped, wrapped combo, which will send this over to here and change this profile, right? This didn't coordinate with anything in particularly, you know, particularly helpful, but I will take out all purple. It'll bring this together and it brings this down here. And now what? This is a relatively good situation. I don't want to blow it. I want to make the best choices possible. I'm going to try to get more wrapped candies down here. So I'm going to blow this up and keep trying to make cascades here. Yeah. Okay. This should work because this is going to blow this up. Okay, and now I go back over to here and I've got my two moves and I think this will work. I can get this with the orange. That's a tough one. It really is. That took me 13 tries and I'm surprised I got it done in 13 tries because it's just so hard to get to these corners. Once you get things going, then you still have to rely on a little bit of luck to get you through. And when you get that luck, you just have to capitalize on it by making the very best choices possible. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.